Yo, what's up? Before I made this video, I thought Fortnite YouTubers were pretty good. I didn't actually know that there was this many horrible Fortnite YouTubers. Some of these YouTubers post videos like this. Ugh. Other YouTubers spam free V-Bug videos and scam kids. And this one YouTuber we look at does something that I've never actually seen on YouTube before. It's so weird. Today, we're looking at over 10 of the worst Fortnite YouTubers ever. We're gonna watch their videos, explore their channels, see how bad they truly are, and then figure out who is the worst Fortnite YouTuber of them all. On my channel, we try to clean up the bad and weird content on YouTube. So if you wanna help me make YouTube a better place, click subscribe. And if you don't wanna subscribe, that's completely fine. Just sit back and enjoy my videos. I also have a second channel where I post every other day. I play random games. I do random stuff on there. So go subscribe, link in the description. On August 5th, I found a comment on one of my YouTube videos, and it was a weird comment. Basically, they told me to check out the YouTuber named Clouds. I had no idea who that was, so I searched his name up, and I tried to see if anybody else commented and told me to make a video about him. And oh my gosh, there were thousands and thousands of comments from you telling me to expose him. If I have this many comments about this dude, he has to be horrible. Okay, his profile picture looks cool. Let's see his channel. Fortnite TikToks using an eye tracker. What? The this is a thumbnail of two Fortnite characters in love, and the title says, with eight-year-old. Is this dude in love with an eight-year-old? Okay, maybe the videos aren't that bad. Let's, uh, let's watch flirting with my cute girlfriend in Fortnite. Oh, I'm actually kind of bored. You're bored? Yeah. Well, I mean, do you want to play with me? I'm down, daddy. <laughs> oh, whoa, babe. No, I meant, like, you want to play a game of Fortnite. Oh. Uh, I'm already cringing, and the video just started. Hi, baby. Hi. Do you like my name? I do. Oh, my gosh. I'm speechless. Anything for you, baby. Oh, daddy. We're definitely smashing tonight. Baby, you want to smash tonight? I want to do more than just smash. Ah! If you didn't think it could get any cringier, watch this. Well, I kind of want to land on you right now, but retail would do. Baby, we're just playing Fortnite right now. Oh, can we win already? Oh my god. I'm like 90% sure that he has his friend using a voice changer or making a girl voice. You trying to, trying to get pumped right now? Oh. Damn, baby, you thick. Oh my god. How does this kid live with himself knowing that this is the type of content that he's making? <laughs> I just noticed that he posted on his community tab and he said that he just graduated from college. So that means he's like 22 years old making these videos. This video that he posted says my crush clapped my cheeks. And when I clicked on the video, he was playing with somebody named Emily is daddy. I remember that name from something, but I don't remember where I remember. That. Let me look at Emily's channel really fast to see if maybe they post good content. Oh my, oh, it's everywhere. Oh my. Look at these thumbnails. Fortnite e-girl gave me milk. What? What? And I can't even read this one out loud. Just, uh, you just have to look at it for yourself. <sighs> I really, really hope that they added cats to Fortnite. I watched a bunch of these videos. I threw up a few times, but I watched them and then I noticed something. These videos are basically dude joins a game with somebody acting like a girl. Hi. The fake girl says, if you win the game, I'll do this and then the dude tries to win the game. This is the most basic, lazy, stupid content I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of it. But this might not be worse than our next YouTuber. A YouTuber named Communic Gaming. What he's doing, I've never seen on YouTube before. It was July 25th. I was scrolling on YouTube and I wanted to find some bad Fortnite YouTubers oh, for this video. I found somebody called Communic Gaming. It was a normal channel when I first looked at it. He has 1.5 million subscribers. He's getting around 100 to 200,000 views per video. Nice. Everything seems normal. His content is about like news about Fortnite, glitches in Fortnite, new updates, stuff like that. But then I saw this video. He's coming back in Fortnite season four. In that video, he talks about skins that are coming to the game, but I read the comments and people said he's lying. So we know that he's clickbaiting, but that wasn't enough to put him in this video. I had to find something even worse, and I did. He just posted this video as I'm recording this. The video is titled, Biggest Fortnite Glitches That Need To Be Removed. Tell me if you notice anything weird. These are the latest insane Goku mythic glitches that really need to be removed. 
You probably didn't notice anything weird because there isn't anything wrong with his videos. It's his numbers. This video has 39,000 views, 1,000 likes, and 74 comments? Maybe his fans just don't comment on videos a lot, right? Yeah. The first comment on this video is a bot with one reply. The next comment is another bot, and another bot, and another bot, and another bot. There were like 30 bot comments on this video and only like 30 real comments. Let's check his other videos though, just to make sure that this just wasn't a video that got spanned by some random bots. Okay, so this video he made has over 200,000 views. It's gotta have like at least like 300 comments, right? That seems reasonable. 96 comments and more bots? Like, look at this. Okay, on my second channel, this video that I made has 121,000 views and it has 600 comments. This is a video that he posted that has the same amount of views as mine, but he only has 82 comments. And I went through it and 16 of the 82 comments are from bots. So why does my video on my second channel have 600 comments, but his only has like 50? Is this dude actually buying bots? I've never seen this before on YouTube. I've seen it on Twitter, I've seen it on Instagram. People buy bots, they wanna be cool, but I've never seen it happen on YouTube. I thought it was not possible. I then realized that he had his Twitter linked in his video description, so I went to Twitter and I messaged him. I wanted to figure out straight up if he pays for fake likes, fake subscribers, and fake comments. A few hours went by, he didn't answer me, so I messaged him again, and then a full day later, I woke up, checked my messages, and he still didn't message me back. Hopefully he's watching this video right now and he can leave us a comment telling us the truth about what's going on with his channel. The next YouTuber took me months to find. I was going through my comments and I sorted them by comments that mentioned Fortnite. And trust me, by looking at your comments, I found some weird Fortnite channels. This guy told me to look at Techie. I expected this to be like some Fortnite technology channel for kids, but nope. It's the same style of content as Clouds and Emily is Dummy. Watching Fortnite TikToks that are 18 plus. What? That's disgusting. Another comment said, look at Rebel Q. And I got to his channel and he has a live stream going on that says he's giving away V-Bucks. And the live stream has been going for two weeks straight. Now, is this dude a robot or does he not sleep? And then someone told me to search up free V-Bucks on YouTube. That's all. I never thought searching two words up would make me so mad. I found a video made by Ghost Ninja. This dude is still making Fortnite clickbait? I literally made a video about him and his Fortnite clickbait like three years ago and he's still doing it? This video says, free V-Bucks for everyone. I watched through three minutes and 30 seconds of bull crap and then he finally started to talk about the V-Bucks. Says everyone, so I wanna see what's going on. Here's how to claim some V-Bucks, boys. We gotta go to an island, welcome to Dusty Towers. Oh my lord, all right, the secret button. No way, Renegade Crown wins, V-Bucks, and there was a mythic on the far left. He watched a TikTok that says, download this creative map and you get V-Bucks. Everybody knows that's fake. Here's now method three on how you can get some free V-Bucks in Battle Royale. Oh no, Recon Expert. The OG of the OGs. Not anymore, you're not though. This dude just said, here is the method to get V-Bucks. And then he just showed his gameplay for a few minutes. Do you remember NNA Productions? The dude who was screaming about fidget spinners? I literally found the Fortnite YouTuber version of him. And I'm gifting my subscriber 50,000 V-Bucks to drop your Epic Games name, drop a like, and subscribe with all notifications. To go ahead and get the free V-Bucks, head over to your main menu. Head over to your island code. Starting the video out begging for subscribers, likes, and comments? Jeez. The whole eight minute video is him exploring a random Fortnite map, and then when the video ends, he says, we got 13,000 V-Bucks. But that's when I found the scams. Here's a weird YouTube short. Watch this. Bro, this video is so blurry. This is just horrible. Hey, maybe this isn't a scam. Maybe it's real. In that video, it said to click the link in their bio. So I went to their channel and yep, the link is right there. I clicked the link and it took me to this web page. It asked how many V-Bucks I wanted and then it asked what my name was. I typed in a bullcrap username that nobody has on Fortnite and let's see what happens. 
It said it found my username? What? There is no way somebody has that username. And then it says you need to verify your identity by downloading these apps. Yeah, no thanks, scammer. Another comment told me about a YouTuber named Also Tom. So I looked him up and <laughs> bro, he's streaming Among Us and Fortnite at the same time. He's playing with his viewers in Fortnite on live stream and then he's playing with his viewers in Among Us on another live stream. How is anybody going to believe this? There's people in each of those streams actually commenting to him saying invite me and stuff like that. They don't realize that this is pre-recorded? He literally started the Among Us live stream on January 28th, 2021. It's been going for almost two years straight. Right when I thought I saw it all, I found possibly the worst Fortnite YouTuber. This dude actually used to watch my videos and he used to comment on them. He used to be a fan of me. So it's so sad to see this dude like this. His name is Branny. Leave a like in the next five seconds if you want the season four battle pass here in Fortnite. You might think he's joking when he talks like that, but nope, he's being serious. After one minute and 43 seconds straight of him shouting out his supporter creator code, YouTube membership, telling people to subscribe, telling people to like, telling people to subscribe to his grandpa's OnlyFans, he finally gets into the video. Actually, never mind. For the next three minutes after that, he was literally begging people to use his code in the item shop and to subscribe to his second channel. <sighs> but this video that we're about to watch is the video that made me realize that this dude is a horrible YouTuber. The title says Fortnite Season 4 Battle Pass. So basically, he's going to talk about what's coming in the next season battle pass, right? Nope. For 4 minutes and 44 seconds, he's begging people to subscribe and like and do all this stuff. I clicked on this video for the battle pass. After 4 minutes and 44 seconds, he finally starts his video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4's battle pass as basically... There's a lot of stuff to talk about, so make sure you guys watch this full video. Yes, we know what you're talking about. It's in the title, buddy. After seven minutes of blabbing and blabbing, he finally talks about some tweets that leaked some info, and he doesn't even put what he's talking about on the screen. This dude does not care about his viewers at all. All he wants to do is get to that eight minute mark on his video so he can get ads in the middle of the dang video. So we've looked at 10 Fortnite YouTubers in this video. Some have been scammers. Some have been people who make the dumbest videos that make no sense and take no effort. Some were people who make nasty videos with girls and little kids and just ugh. And there even was a YouTuber who might have been paying for bots to like and subscribe to his channel. But who is the worst Fortnite YouTuber of them all? It's so hard to choose because we have scammers, we have lazy YouTubers, and we have fake YouTubers, but I honestly think the worst Fortnite YouTuber is Ghost Ninja. I barely talked about him in this video, but the fact that he's been making these stupid videos that make no sense for five years straight says a lot about him. He basically says, get this free Fortnite skin now by subscribing to my channel, which is lying to his fans and his content is horrible. There's no effort, no reason to even watch it. His content overall is just crappy. Hopefully YouTube can see this video and get rid of these horrible scammers, horrible crappy video makers, and just everybody featured in this video. YouTube needs to take a look at them. Now, should I make a video on the worst Minecraft YouTuber next? I think that'd be pretty funny. You can watch a video where I literally found the worst YouTuber ever, that's on the left side of the screen, or you can click on the right side of the screen to keep watching me expose bad YouTubers in my Meet the YouTubers playlist.